Hi guys. Well, it has turned in just to an absolutely just yuck, nasty, depressing slit your wrist. Wish you could get on a UFO and fly off to somewhere warm and sunny kind of day after that gorgeous week we just had. Here we are back in hell again on Saturday, October 7th. 2023 50 degrees it was 85 the day before yesterday it is now 50 degrees feeling like winter time here so since it is Saturday I am uh, as I promised I'm gonna be doing my space Saturday space alien follies for anybody who cares to listen to it uh, and since I might be starting this new channel called Aliens and Doomers, and I can't talk for over 15 minutes, I can't make a video for over 15 minutes, this, the, the biggest challenge I see that I am going to have uh, is keeping my videos under 15 minutes so uh, let me get right into it I want to do a video uh, j just for people who want to know what uh, they're either getting into or not getting into by tuning in uh, to my Saturday Follies on Humpty Dumpty Tribe or my new channel and so what we're going to talk about is the 99.9 percent .9 of the space alien uh, horseshit that I utterly reject this is after being a quote I, you know, I need to be very careful about using, about joking around that I was abducted by space aliens for uh, 22 years because people, because, you know, irony and satire does not uh, play well on video. Uh, so we're going to call myself what I, a better term is that I was an experiencer so let's use the more general term so I was personally an experiencer uh, for 22 years of my life I uh, these little space aliens whoever whatever they are were major characters in my life and above and beyond that for probably at least 10 years mostly during the 1990s uh, as I said I was deeper down the UFO space alien rabbit hole uh, quite a bit deeper than I've ever gotten into in the doomosphere uh, so I for pretty much 10 years of my life I soaked up pretty much every piece of information uh, that I could find trying to figure out what the hell this uh, this phenomenon is all about well the reason I finally abandoned this pursuit number one is because you know as I've told the story and will probably tell it again that I managed to get these little space aliens out of my own life that uh, and I anybody who's dealing with these goddamn things and wants to get them out of their life there's an easy way to do it uh, which we'll talk about in some other uh, video uh, but the other reason is, is because I, I just got tired of the unadulterated horseshit. So 
in, in, in no particular order, really, just as they come into my head. Th this is just my advice. If, if you're just going down this rabbit hole, or if you don't know uh, what to do uh, with, the, with this information, but what you can do is flush 99.9% .9 of this unadulterated horse shit uh, down the toilet. Now it's still an interesting phenomenon how so many people can believe this unadulterated horse shit with, with zero evidence to zero evidence to support it. So okay, if you ever hear any of the following terminology when when you're down in this rabbit hole and you encounter any of these subjects what you do is run like hell there is such a it is it's one thing to be open-minded but when you open your mind so much that your fucking brain falls out of your head you're not serving any purpose other than sounding like a clueless moron. Alright, uh, alien hybrid children. If, 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 on any level, if you read uh, some unadulterated horse shit, either these abductees claiming that they bred with uh, aliens uh, that and ended up having children unadulterated horseshit run like hell. A close cousin of that one, anything about aliens walking among us. And this takes all sorts of forms. There's the whole subject uh star children what's the other one i'm glad i've forgotten the term it's not crimson children but there's some other term that involves a color indigo children okay if you hear the term indigo children unadulterated horseshit uh, on, on every level, any mention that there are space aliens, whether they be from another planet or another dimension, that are living here on Earth, passing themselves off as humans and, and, and passing as humans. Un adulterated horseshit that does not deserve one millisecond of your attention. Okay, anybody who claims that a space alien or a UFO or whatever is coming from a particular place in either this solar system or this galaxy, at least, I guess. If they can sit there and name the place where, uh, where the, the, the space aliens and their UFOs they rode in on uh, came from, run like hell. Do not walk, run like hell. I'm, I will do, uh, I'm sure, plenty of videos of, about the whole notion of the term extraterrestrial, that these things are even coming from other planets. Uh, I have seen no evidence in all of my study to, uh, to show me that these things are are coming from other planets. I, I have never made this claim that the space aliens 
uh, are, are coming from other planets. I don't know. I am not completely eliminating that, but I pretty am. The, the space aliens that I dealt with for 22 years were not coming from other planets. I have never encountered a space alien or a UFO coming from another planet. Uh, I have never met anyone telling me that, that I believe, never read uh, an account that uh, shows me any solid evidence that space aliens are coming from other planets. So, uh, some of, uh, obviously, some of my favorite ones, the Pleiadians. If you see the word Pleiadian, what you want to do is go please, uh, Pleiadians. What was one I heard? Arcturians. Pleiadians? Arcturians? If you ever hear the term Zeta Reticuli. Zeta Reticuli. Uh, unadulterated horseshit. Oh, of course, coming from Orion unadulterated horseshit coming from Sirius the dog star which is actually actually two stars a binary star system so uh, I I any of this anybody uh, claiming not only claiming that these things are extraterrestrial and then claiming that they know what part of outer space these things came from unadulterated horseshit on the face of it uh, the, the, the entire subject of uh, the, the, these goddamn things coming from a particular area of this uh, galaxy. Obviously, if anyone suggests that they're coming from another planet in this solar system is even more of a clueless moron than someone claiming they're coming from the Pleiades. Unadulterated horseshit. Uh, and good God, how am I up to 13 minutes already? But, but the, 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 the list could go on. Uh, I would put real quickly anal probing, anal probing. If anyone, you actually don't read that many. Uh, this is a misconception and a joke uh, on that hilarious episode of South Park about Cartman. There is no reason for a space alien to want to probe your anus. Uh, you notice I am not putting cattle mutilations on this list. Uh, the cattle mutilation uh, one is, 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 you know, is pretty much up there, uh, not quite making my list. I don't know what that's about. Oh yeah, but of course uh, crop circles being made by UFOs. Crops, the, the whole notion of crop circles being made by UFOs, unadulterated horseshit, they were made by humans. Hoaxers. But uh, I notice that my 15 minutes is running up. I will probably do a volume two of Space Alien Horseshit coming up in a future episode. Bye guys.